Well, we're coming to the close of this series in which we've been discussing how we can be able to leverage ideas in our purpose pursuit. I do think we've done justice to this series because we've talked about the importance of ideas. We've talked about how ideas are connected to purpose. We've also talked about the issue that people, everyone, every individual has the capacity to generate ideas. And we've been looking at, uh, in the past several episodes, we've been looking at the idea of where ideas come from. In fact, I've been calling it the levels of ideas, where ideas generate from. Today, I want us to bring it to a close by looking at one last level. I'm going to do a recap for you before we can look at one last level in which ideas can operate in your life. Uh, so stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. So the level one where ideas emanate from, we talked about this, that uh, they come from instinct and also they come from intuition. You cannot explain it. You don't have control over it, but it is one of the most powerful avenues through which ideas emanate. Our problem is the instinct and the intuition are not in the realm of our five senses. And so we tend to ignore ideas, warnings, hints, information, feelings that are connected to our purpose that are coming from that realm. But I can tell you this, that every single one of us has the capacity to use intuition and to use instinct. Just that sixth, seventh, eighth, infinite sense to connect to an idea that is revolutionary. Every company you see today that is growing every multi-billion dollar organization, every multinational, I do believe they came from that realm of instinct and intuition. The idea came from there, and all of us can have that. The second level is the level of facts and information. The more you have knowledge through facts and information, the more the propensity it is for you to generate ideas. You know that, of course, it's, it's basically like common sense. In other words, the more you learn, the more you're able to generate ideas. And get this, get this straight. The idea of learning and gathering knowledge is not just to learn and know facts. It is to water our minds and our brains to be receptive to new ideas and to be a fertile ground through which ideas can generate. In other words, the knowledge is the foundation. It is not the holy grail. People normally treat knowledge as if this is this is it. It is the holy grail of achievement, the holy grail of knowledge, I mean of intell- intellect. It is not. It is a seed. Your knowledge is a seed for the ideas that can come into your life. And so the second level in which ideas are going to come into your life are through knowledge. So increase in knowledge. Therefore, this idea of people saying that they have finished school should stop. Continue learning, continue increasing your information, your knowledge base, and, and so on. And the more you do this, the more you're opening yourself up to ideas. And remember, ideas are more powerful than this so-called information and intellect. Let me not overemphasize that. The third level is principles. We talked about this, and uh, it was very interesting to note that you can be a righteous person, but financially you are suffering because 
ideas are coming from principles that govern ideas are coming from principles that govern the realm of economics are not being applied so what happens what happens is that you are as long as you are oblivious of the ideas of knowledge, I mean ideas of principles, you will not be successful in the realm in which those principles are governing things. In finances, in just mention any realm, any body, I mean any sector, any niche, where principles, in fact, by the way, I do believe that principles are governing every area of life. Relationships have principles. Business has principles. Economics has principles. Politics has principles. Family has principles. Any area of your life that you're looking at has principles that are governing those. And so it is, it is okay for us, it is advantageous for us to have ideas that are connected to principles and apply those ideas. That is level number three. Level number four, ideas are going to come to you through inspiration. We talked about this yesterday. They're going to come through inspiration and motivation. And you have no control over this. kind of like instinct, which we talked about. That someone can be preaching and waxing eloquent and something totally different occurs to you as an idea. When I wrote the eight milestones on a journey of your purpose, discover your purpose, eight milestones on your journey to your purpose, I remember very well that I was in a church service listening to someone preach i don't remember what they were preaching about i can tell you this 100 percent. their message in fact their output they were telling themselves i wish people can get this but they did not know that what i was going to get was totally different from what they're preaching that's how ideas come through motivation and through inspiration so don't tune out the voice of inspiration but today let us close this let us come to the end of this episode's end of this series knowledge through action brings ideas let me tell you this whenever you are doing something in fact whenever you are actively involved i'm talking about body mind spirit you are active you are active in your being active what you're doing is that you're opening yourself up to catch ideas unlike never before. The, let me tell you this. The guy who is doing stuff is going to do more stuff than the guy who is doing less stuff. Because no idea come to a guy who is seated doing nothing. Unless, of course, you're resting. And actually, resting is doing something. I hope you get my drift. Therefore, you have information, you have knowledge, you have principles, you have facts, you have your instinct, you have your intuition. What do you do? You take action. Chances are that the action you're taking or the things that you have right now are actually seeds to the big ideas that you're going to get. That's why when you look at Facebook right now, the other day they, they launched Meta, whatever, Metaverse right that did not come to them on day one of launching facebook if you look at how facebook used to look like years ago when it was launched in the late 90s no not really late 90s uh whatever if you look at how it used to look like it is not like it is looking like today it is in doing facebook in deploying facebook in churning it out in growing it that other ideas are generated from it. Ideas are coming through action. In other words, the more we are active, the more we are attracting finer ideas. In fact, let me say it. The ideas that come from action sometimes are finer and they improve on the basic and core ideas, the foundational ideas that you started up with in the first place. That's a very powerful thing to say. There's a scripture that I love. It says, the steps of a righteous man are ordered of God. In other words, as you are moving, and that's when God is showing you direction. It is the opposite of when people normally say, stand still and wait on God. That is normally when you are in dire straits. 
when you need a miracle when you need god to intervene in a situation that's where that scripture those inf- inferences come from but in a normal day to day ordinary life you and i are supposed to be in action in motion it does not say the waiting or the sitting or the legs huh it says the steps of a righteous man the steps steps denote motion you cannot have a step if you're not moving the steps of a righteous man are ordered of god so when you are in motion god gives you direction that's why direction comes from when you are moving ideas finer details of ideas come when you start acting on something with the scantest detail or the scantest information that you have right now you put it to work right and when you put it to work then it occurs to you oh wait a minute it can actually be done this way better that's how everything you see today is developing it's improving we did not start with smartphones we started with landlines hmm? wires right telex and so on and so forth then we went to cell phones right those phones that we used to punch several times before you can cre- create a sentence you've punched that thing i mean and we thought we had arrived but we kept on moving and then smartphones have come it is through action we did not just jump to smartphones we started somewhere action gives you improvement ideas gives you finer ideas to work with so the more you are taking action the more you are drawing closer to ideas that matter to you in fact the more you are drawing closer to ideas that are going to connect to your purpose so some of the greatest ideas i've ever drawn are always raw they were actually by the ways that bandwagoned on me that bandwagoned on something that i was doing something that i was applying i normally say this every time i go jogging for some reason when i am jogging that's when ideas of inspiration and motivation come to me i've written very many articles done very many podcasts that i got those ideas from jogging So action is absolutely key even as we come to a close of these episodes and this series. You seldom get ideas when you're bored. When you're not busy. You get ideas when your mind is engaged and your body is engaged and you're active. That's when ideas come to you. So those are the five levels through which ideas are going to come. But I do believe this one this last level is the crown of it all. Ideas come to you when you are taking action tomorrow we are going to start a new series and i hope that uh, this one has made sense to you but until then bye bye thank you for listening to life signatures radio if you enjoyed today's show subscribe to life signatures radio on itunes stitcher or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com life signatures radio Fresh clean and inspiring.